hello everyone so welcome to my video and in this video we're going to learn how can we handle multiple images uh, for our custom block in our last video we have learned how can we handle a single pair image but uh, most of the times we made it to handle multiple images like you are working with a gallery block and you need to handle multiple images so how can we handle this since we are talking about this multiple images that's mean our attribute should uh, contain uh, multiple images so definitely this our attribute will be an array so we are going to remove all of this uh, single image information like url attribute uh, so other tag and id rather we will use a single uh, attributes that will be an array like images what you can call it in the single gallery and the type of this attribute will be an array by default we are not setting any value so default there is no default value this is our first duty secondly we have to restrict this so remove all of these informations and restrict this gallery from attributes so i want to keep it oh i mean see the comment commented we'll discuss about it no worries about it so let us handle the uploading system you can see right now this is the single image uploading system now we will check on the gallery so gallery if the gallery includes an image then it will execute this code otherwise it will execute this code so since we are working with the multiple images so make it true so that you can upload multiple images so we also change the level like every images or logos and we have to change this uh, set attribute we'll get an array and you see this array will just pass the media not and a single data will just pass the media and inside this we'll check we can see this um, this code will be only execute if uh, there are any images inside of a recovery attribute so we can call it a div like gallery continue and we can call it single gallery let's check if we have any image inside this color attribute then we will launch a map function so that we can get its image information so glory dot map we can call single image and index sorry this this one so we'll return some informations let us call that the single gallery image or something like this and we'll call a image tag and you see this image tag will pass the we'll get the url for its image even we'll get the auto tag for its image we we'll also get the id but we don't need to use id in here or you can also use id you can see it is given an error because we didn't pass any key so let us pass key it will be our index so this is our basic format and if you go back in pm strut and refresh our editor panel and you can see now it is giving options to add images that means we can upload multiple images so for my video we can add multiple images you can see now we can add multiple images we can also remove images or i could add create a gallery we can also order them like this and insert gallery and you can see all images are added one by one if we 
inspect control and we'll see this is our gallery container but this is our single image that's it but how can we handle to editing i mean we may need to edit this gallery how can we handle this so this was for our single images for the gallery images what will you do first we will check our gallery includes any image or not this is for the delete so simply we will set gallery is null i mean there's no data but in case of this editing field what will you do we can simply set the one select functions like gallery or just media but the most important part is the value now we never can use a single id we have to use uh, all image ids that's mean it will be ids not a single id so how can we get all image id so we have to patch the i mean this the map function and you see the map function will get the image all id like image and we simply return image data id that's mean the value will also be an array so multiple options will be allowed so let us call the multiple is true when we are making this multiple is true that means this value will be also an array and this value will pick all the ms uh, ids so if we again run if you start and try to check out is it working fine or not I will refresh you can see our images let us add image I want to add this two images okay and we can see there is the delete tab, uh, icons and this edit icons if you click the delete icon you can see it is gone and again we can add yeah um, but we want to edit if you click on this you can see in this image is selected and we can remove this one and add this new one and select this one uh, we can see we are not getting options to add select these two images in this case we can place our control and the select you can see the two images are selected I can go back here remove this one and select control and add this one and select and you can see there are two images so how can we handle and the front end so if you want to handle them and the front end you can easily handle them because we're getting this informations from this attribute so call this attribute at the front end this means sub function let us remove all of this and call this glory and we'll check if this glory includes any images we'll call glory container and set the glory container for all images on glories dot map and she'll return single glory like this and if you refresh again okay what do you call holy dog block update and see the result we'll get the images one and two images so it is working perfectly so i think you have understood how to handle multiple images for your work if you have any questions you can let me know thank you